well hello there and welcome back to my channel or of course welcome to my channel if you're new if you are new then hello lovely to meet you my name is Alex and if you are new here make sure you stick around and subscribe if you're not new and you've been here for a while then why not make sure the notification bell is switched on just be notified of every single time that I upload now for today's video I have quite an exciting one because we're going to be testing a new palette by Revolution of course I always review the latest palettes from Revolution and today is no exception because they surprised us with like this new palette and a few glosses how stunning is this packaging this is the forever flawless soft butterfly palette let me just take it out of the plastic because it's not doing it justice but look how stunning this packaging is number one it's pink which as you all know by now is my absolute favorite color um, and butterflies as well I love butterflies they're so pretty um, and just combining the both chef's kiss absolutely stunning love the packaging the actual color story of this I was not expecting whatsoever there goes the plastic um, but this is what it looks like so it is kind of like a pastely light palette um, it has very pale shades in here so my first initial thought is People with a deeper skin tone are probably not going to get on with this whatsoever because the shades in here are quite pale. They are very pale pastel shades, especially like this region of the palette. You do have like this pop of green and purples down here, but for the most part, it is a very light palette. Um, very unique and different for Revolution. They haven't really done a palette like this before, so I'm happy that they're, you know exploring different color stories and stuff like that but i just don't think everyone's going to be able to use this because this is part of the forever flawless collection this palette does retail for 12 pounds which you know is quite expensive for revolution they they have upped their prices over the years uh, but i will leave a discount code down below um that i use just to get uh, 20 percent off and i think i paid about nine pounds 60 for this in the end so a little bit cheaper which isn't too bad and just to let you know this is also cruelty free and vegan if you only use makeup that is so yeah that is what the eyeshadow palette looks like but they didn't just release the palette they also released three lip glosses um this is the packaging for them it's the exact same as the eyeshadow palette and they had three shades i just picked one up because i'm not a huge gloss wearer at the moment anyway so i didn't want to you know waste money on buying all three so i just bought one in the shade fly and these retail for eight pounds each so after we play with the palette I will test out the gloss for you so i think there's nothing really much else we need to go over so let's get into the swatches okay guys so this is the palette swatched the shimmers are just absolutely beautiful there are so many different colors and just so reflective i absolutely love them the mattes i feel like there's a lot of nice purpley pinky tones but then you just get this random like greeny yellow one in here i'm not really too sure this palette is very light like i'm very fair and even some of the shades just about show up on me so um people with deeper skin tones would definitely struggle with this and um, because it is so pow um, but we're going to try and create a lovely look today um, so let's get into it and also sorry I did build up a lot of the swatches just because they are so pow um, so what you're seeing here uh, has been built up a few times okay so I've just primed my eyes off of camera I used my Revolution Ultimate Eye Base of course um, and by the way if my brows look really blocky and just not it it's because i'm well overdue my mic blading top up but that has been booked for the end of april so i'm super excited i'm getting my nails done tomorrow my hair done next week i'm gonna feel like a brand new bitch by the end of this month and i'm so excited <laughs> okay so with this palette i have decided i'm gonna go down the like purpley pinky roots um i don't know because there's just a lot of light shades in here um, it's a little bit difficult to like kind of go with a certain color selection so we're gonna go with the pinks and the purples there are a lot of gray tones in here and there's a lot of shimmers to choose from which I'm not too mad at because it is such like a light palette by the way how cute are these little like butterfly pans in the palette so cute I'm actually gonna take that shade um, that lava shade this one here 
and I'm just gonna start putting that in my crease. Very kickbacky. Damn. Okay, so I've just been packing that in my crease. Obviously, very pale shade. So I did build it up a few times, uh, but it is really pretty. I do, I do like it. I'm gonna take the other purple in here, which is called Papa. This one here is a very bluey toned lilac-y shade. Now what I'm gonna do, again, very kickbacky, is I'm gonna just gonna start, I don't know, placing that in my inner and outer corner. This palette is like not the easiest to like come up with a look kind of thing. I don't know if that's just my lack of creativity or lack of shades in here, but I just thought they're both purpley pink shades. Might as well just slap them together and see what happens. But there's no like actual depth to this palette, which is why. I think people would struggle with it, especially with a deeper skin tone. I'm going to take this shade here, which is called Hope. And I'm just going to take that on a big, like, fluffy blending brush. These shades are so kickbacky. And I'm just going to, I'm just going to try and blend these top edges out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take more of this purple down here. I'm just going to add that to my crease. I just feel like my shadows are like disappearing. I don't know. I just feel like it's just not the most pigmented. Okay, so this is the shadow on. This is like, you know, the most pigmented that I can get it. It is really pretty. Um, they're not the uh, easiest pastels I've worked with. I'm not going to lie. The Beauty Bay one was a little bit easier to use than this, but when you build up the colour a lot, you do get this stunning shade. Um, so what I'm going to do for the middle of my lid, I'm going to make this look super simple. Um, I'm going to take this blue shimmer here. It is absolutely stunning, this wings shade here. I thought that could go, if I put the green on my lower lash line maybe, it would go a little bit better. Um, I'm going to take this on a brush. It's very like chunky, this shade. Um, and let's see if it applies with brush. Okay, so in the end, I went with my finger. Um, that was the best way to apply this shade. It's very chunky, which means there's a lot of fallout with it. So just be a bit wary of that. You will be left with chunky bits of shimmer on your lower, whatever this bit's called, under your eye. Um, so yeah, if you're going to use this palette, I would do it before you put your base makeup on. So for the lower lash line, I'm going to take the green in here, which is called Soul. So this is what the eye looks are looking like. It looks a bit random, doesn't it? But I just wanted to test out as many shades as possible without going to these more like grey neutral tones. I thought I'd test out like more this side of the palette that's a little bit more colourful. Um, I think that greeny yellow shade is actually quite pigmented considering that's on my lower lash line. I'm quite impressed with that pigmentation and I feel like it looks kind of funky, right? Um, I kind of really like it. So this is kind of the overall look done. For my lower lash line and brow bone, of course, I'm going to take this silver icy shade here, which is called Free. Okay, so I've just put that on. Look how blinding that inner corner and brow bone shade is looking like i absolutely love it so yeah this is the completed eye look um i feel like it's a little bit more mishy meshy because i've got the purple and blue on the lid which makes sense and then this like yellowy green on my lower lash line um but i honestly just wanted to see how pigmented these pastels were um so i'm gonna hop off camera quickly i'm gonna put some mascara on i think and then i'll be right back because we have one more product that's two we have one more product to test right guys so i'm back and i've just completed my eye look with some mascara and because this is the butterfly collection i thought i'd whack out that butterfly mascara that revolution did i can't remember what it's called it doesn't say on the bottom either it's the one that come out at christmas time and they all had these cute little butterfly rings on because if you look at the lip gloss excuse me 
Um, it's got a butterfly on it as well, so I know I thought I'd just do matchy matchy. That mascara isn't my favourite, so this look is very minimal, like a very light mascara, but just to make the pastel shades pop. Um, I'll give you my final thoughts on the palette in a minute because we have obviously the gloss to test. I freaking love this packaging. Um, it is so stunning. I absolutely love it. One of the best packaging revolution I've done for a while. Um, I got mine in the shade Fly, which I believe was like the lightest shade out of all three of them and they all retail for eight pounds each which you know is quite pricey for a revolution gloss their lipsticks and stuff are normally around four five six pounds so this is a little bit more expensive um this is also cruelty free and vegan by the way and this is what the packaging looks like so you know it's nothing super special it is just like it's in its regular lip gloss packaging that they've just added the butterfly ring on there so perhaps that's why it's a bit more expensive because of the butterfly ring but to be honest eight pounds for one gloss is you know quite pricey again i will leave discount code down below just so you can get a little bit cheaper um this shade fly that i've got is kind of a clear gloss with a reflect to it so that's why i've put on this uh cool toned neutral lipstick of course you know which one's going to be by now it's the um beauty bay lipstick in the shade freckle i included this in my march favorites because i just cannot put this down very clear evidence um so that's why i wanted to put a bit more of a neutral shade on so the lip gloss kind of does the talking so let's let's get this out of the packaging so doesn't smell of anything this is what the wand looks like and i have a feeling i'm gonna ruin it now because i've got the lipstick on i'm just gonna i don't know do i need to sit forward do you need to see i'm just gonna so i'm just gonna swatch this on my hand just to see what it looks like on like a blank canvas kind of thing because where i've obviously got the nude lipstick on can't really see but that is what it looks like it's predominantly a clear lip gloss it just has some shimmer in it i hope you can see that kind of reflects pink and gold which is super pretty with this lipstick on underneath you can't really see the pinkness of it it just looks like i've got a clear gloss on to be honest it feels really hydrating and comfortable um it's not sticky or anything which is my number one pet peeve when it comes to glosses if it's sticky i'm never wearing it again this doesn't feel like that at, at all it's very as i say hydrating very lightweight as well i can't really feel it on my lips which is good but yeah, with this nude on underneath, I can't really see the pink reflect. So those are both of the products in this collection. This is my finished look. Please let me know down below what you think. I would love to know. I feel like this collection is going to get a bit of a mixed bag of opinions. And I'd love to know what yours is down below. Okay, so let's finally sit down and talk about these products so firstly we're going to talk about the eyeshadow palette number one packaging 10 out of 10 for me i absolutely love the packaging of this i love the tint i keep going to do that <laughs> tomorrow i will be able to do that uh, but i love the tin packaging for the forever flawless palettes you also obviously get a huge mirror in here it's a little bit pricey but you can get a discount code to get them a little bit cheaper um the color story for me definitely did surprise me didn't really expect this kind of color story i don't think like i don't know what i expected to be honest when i think of butterflies I always think of the like bright blue and like colourful patterned ones. So this to me didn't scream butterfly. I don't know. Is it just me? I'm not really too sure. Um, there is a lot of pal pastels in here. I played with the majority the pops of colour in here, the purples and the green. Um, but there are a lot of pal colours, especially in this section. I think what makes this palette good are the shimmers to be honest with you the shimmers in here are absolutely beautiful there is an absolute crap ton of fallout with them or at least the one that i tried on my lids that wing shade um but other than that so pigmented it looks absolutely beautiful i'm in love with the shimmers i just think they're so stunning i love the shades a lot of reflective duochrome shimmers in here and they are so beautiful the mattes in here again 
had a lot of fallout like a lot a lot and when you've had such good experience previously with these forever flawless palettes this one kind of gets pushed down a few because the quality of some of the forever flawless palettes are insane and then this one I don't know which is very dusty obviously they're pastel so they're a little bit more difficult to play with um but i just think there maybe are a couple of better pastel palettes out there this isn't my favorite pastel palette that i've ever used and i'm i am going to call it a pastel palette because of how fair the shades are and how light they are so yeah kind of a mixed bag of reviews on this to be honest i love the packaging i love the shimmers in here um but the matte shades especially these like front half ones i just don't do it for me i definitely prefer the more pops of color in here like the purples and the green i kind of wish they made this like a pastely rainbow palette because then that would scream butterfly to me if you know what i mean so yeah definitely let me know what you think of this palette because as i said earlier i feel like this there's going to be a mixed bag but i would love to know what you thought um and then obviously we've got the lip gloss this is what it looks like this is a nice gloss there's literally nothing wrong with this gloss very hydrating very comfortable very lightweight um i just think eight pounds is quite expensive you know quite expensive for one singular revolution lip gloss the price kind of puts me off of saying that like, i recommend it if you know what i mean because it's quite expensive for a revolution lip gloss i understand there's a little butterfly ring on here and the packaging might be a little bit bigger but just for like a regular gloss from revolution i i think they are like four or five pounds i can't remember it is a nice gloss though i can't deny that like it's a really pretty gloss saying all those things though i do think i created a pretty look in the end like i think i've brought the look together a little bit i was a bit like oh my god what shades am i going to use together but i think i've made it work a little bit you know i think i think i have made it work i do like the look that i've done but after this look i just think what other looks could i create with this palette yeah. those are my thoughts and opinions on the new soft butterfly collection i don't necessarily like giving revolution those negative reviews but i have to be completely honest with you guys because i'd hate to recommend something to you that you would all end up not liking if that makes sense so it is very pretty i can't sit here and say you need to go out there and pick it up right now it is the best pastel palette i've ever played with because then i'd be completely lying to you um it's not my favorite pastel palette it is very pretty um this collection's very um mm, in and are in for me it's not just like screaming at me do you know what i mean i just think they could have done a little bit better with it but that is my own personal opinion you could look at this palette and use it and think this is like one of the best palettes i've ever played with so that is what makeup's all about we all have our different opinions um and yeah that is it for this video um i really hope you enjoyed it and if you did please let me know by smashing the thumbs up button let me know down below what you think i've said that a million times but do i would love to know your opinion and of course if you haven't already please subscribe down below and i will see you in my next video bye